Before coloring objects, it's important to light them first in order to get the most accurate results. You can create lights in the rendering shelf. Two of the more useful ones are directional and area. To see the effects of a light in the scene, turn on lights in the viewport. You can also turn on shadows, ambient occlusion, and anti-aliasing for even more accuracy. Then you can select each light and modify it using the Move, Rotate, or Scale tool. You can find things like color, intensity, and exposure settings in the Attribute Editor under the Appropriate Lights tab. Another important light lives in the Arnold shelf. This is the Skydome light, which allows you to apply image-based lighting to your scene. To connect an image file, click the Colors Palette button in the Skydome's Shape tab in the Attribute Editor, then assign a file. For image-based lighting, you'll want to use a special type of image with a .hdr or .exr extension. You can find free ones all around the internet. Finally, you can use Ctrl-H to hide lights to see their effects. Now the scene is beautifully lit. You're ready for some materials. For more lessons like this one, hit the like and subscribe button below. Then click the link on your screen to continue on with the lesson.